I have uh, three Facebook groups uh, where I post Islamic stuff and like answer basic questions. Um, I opened this group to get closer to Allah and to earn reward. But I think now back in my mind, I want fame and I want people to praise me like this stuff. And I don't know how to make my intention like good again. Are so you? can you please advise me? Question number one to you, Bali. Do you think people are benefiting out of your reminders and posts or not? Yes, like I, I like I post your like sh shakes like your posts, like hadiths and tafsirs, etc. Now, what is the possibility of handing over the pages to somebody else, or making the pages in different names that you do not even appear? It is just an anonymous Sorry. admin. You know what I mean? Yeah, but um, how can this be possible as I am the admin of the group oh. and I have to answer the questions and I take your fatwas, I call you and other sheikhs and I take your fatwas and answer their questions. First of all, and I can't hide my name. First of all, I need to emphasize on the fact that, to emphasize the fact that if any person does anything which is supposed to be an act of worship to please the Almighty Allah, meanwhile, he is desiring to be praised and admired, to be recognized, to be uh, to gain some fame. That deed, unfortunately, he or she will not receive any reward for it. Allah is the richest of all. He will leave it entirely. And then I'm afraid that he will be blameworthy for showing off, for trying to please other than the Almighty Allah. One must purify his or her intention from the beginning. And at any stage, if they fear that this is going to corrupt their intention, then there are multiple ways to fix it. Number one, remove my name and picture so it is anonymous. You know, people do not necessarily have to know it is you. Change your profile picture, okay, and the name. Just somebody is sharing videos, clips, reminders, which benefit people. You know, you're just an admin. Uh, let somebody else be the admin or a co-admin, okay? Meanwhile, we are commanded not to stop the good deed out of fear that it could be showing off. Rather, to work on our intention to fix it. How? Two things. Number one, understand that no one whatsoever can reward me and compensate me as much as Allah. Number two, if I really desire to be praised by people for an act of worship, it will not be accepted and Allah will make those people abhor me as well. What a loss. When I have these two things in mind, then I would just realize that I better line up. I better sincere my intention. And sincere in the intention is not one time deal. Do you think that each program that will go live and each program I present, we don't have this challenge? We do. Especially when people call in or send feedbacks and say, oh, you're my hero, I'm a big fan of yours, and so on. It is very difficult. It is very challenging. But Alhamdulillah, the Almighty Allah said in verse number 69, Surah Al-Ankabut, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِيْنَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَمَعَ الْمُحْسِنِينَ Al-Mujahada is to strive, to make an effort, to struggle. I'm struggling with my inner desire. I'm striving hard to sincere my intention. Allah appreciates that and He's not going to waste your effort. Keep doing the good work. Do not shut down the groups, but change the admin. Let somebody else be the admin or you yourself be the admin as an unknown, take a different name, don't put your profile picture, your picture, and so on. Thank you.